had been. Seth would like to speak with you. Professor, a moment. I am sorry that I doubted your ability. <coughs> I deeply regret ever holding such a view of you. It is obvious to me now that you are extraordinary. Thank you. Wait, really? Do you doubt your own power even now? I suppose that's only natural. You've lived your whole life knowing next to nothing about yourself. Not even Gerald could have possibly known all there is to know about you. But I wonder, are you satisfied with that? What do you mean? Are you content not knowing who you are? Or do you yearn to know more? I wish to know more. That was a foolish question, of course. You are not the sort to be complacent. So, only one more question matters. Are you ready? Ready for what? The truth. All of it. Learning it will doubtlessly have direct consequences on your life. I do not know what those will be. You may decide, once you learn it, that you wish you hadn't. But even if you have such regrets, you will never be able to return to ignorance. So, are you ready to know the truth? Yes, I am. I see. That is what I wish to hear. Since the Archbishop put so much faith in you, I will continue to offer my aid. More than that, I will put my faith in you as well. And I will do all that is within my power to help you someday reach the truth. <laughs> this report, man, it's like, he's about to tell me the truth. He's about to tell me. But no, then he says this. Boy! <laughs> Here's the result. Good. S rank, good, good. So close to the S plus ranks, dudes. Making strides. Don't pretend. I want that. Or do I? Yes. I use the gambits as much with him. Okay. So I'm going to save now. Right here. I do some support while people's coming. Your Highness, you still have scars on your back. It does you no good to languish in pain. I will procure <coughs> some medicine. No, it is fine. Well, they are still deep. These are from nine years ago. They do not hurt any longer. And besides, it would be a shame if the scars I got from protecting you were to fade. I bear these scars proudly. It makes me think that it was worthwhile that someone like me survived. To hear you say such things. To do, you say that I saved you. But do you know that you also saved me that day? If I had been unable to save anyone, I would have been the sole survivor. I would have had no reason to keep living. But I saved someone. Saved you. That and that alone has always been my crutch. When I stood before those soldiers and their swords that day, I was prepared to die. But then, you suddenly appeared. And you shielded me. I knew then that a savior's hand could reach into even the deepest darkness. I still have not been able to repay that debt. Have you not heard a word I've said? You have saved me in countless ways. Five years ago, I did nothing but await my execution within my jail cell. Was it not you that saved me? That was nothing more than my duty as your vassal. Listen, to do. perhaps you consider me to be someone special. But I think the same of you. You are irreplaceable, cherished. Oh. So stop saying that we cannot be friends. Stop saying such awful things. Please. Do not look at me that way. You promised me you would build a kingdom that is proud to boast of Dusker blood. In this kingdom, where there is no distinction between the people of Dusker and the people of Fodlan, will I finally, without reservation, be able to call you my friend? Will I, Dimitri? To do. Yes, you will call me your friend again and again. 
no matter how many hardships I must endure. Well, is there a distinction between people watching and people watching? Sorry, I missed it. I will do all I can to bring about that world as well. <coughs> to be your friend is what I have always wanted. Oh. Is that so? I... I am glad to hear it. But until that time, we must allow no harm to befall you. So please call upon me when you walk alone at night. And even when you go out in the day, please tell me where you are going and whom you are meeting. In the end, I suppose there is no fixing your overprotectiveness, is there? I suppose I can live with that. Very nice. Is this... Oh yeah. I like them. Almost forgot how spooky this place is. I don't know if I can do this alone. No, I've got to. What use am I to anyone if I can't even handle an empty tower? Here goes. The doll from my father must be in there. But I'm too scared to go looking for it. Aww. But that. Ash, what are you doing here? Oh, here, I got this for you. My doll! You went back for it? But why? Your father gave it to you. I know you said you'd throw it away, but you can't just toss out something so important. Ash, thank you. I'm so happy. To be honest, I didn't have the courage to go back in there to get it myself. But thanks to you, I didn't have to. And you're afraid of ghosts, right? Were you okay in there all by yourself? Well, not really. I tried my best not to think about it. My legs shook whenever I did. <laughs> oh, poor Ash. You're safe now, I promise. Knock it off, would you? I'm okay now. But I'm glad I could help you and see a smile on your face. Look at me, though. <laughs> A grown man, scared of ghosts. Pathetic, right? No, I don't think that at all. I think you're something special, Ash. You were really brave, and all for me. That wasn't an easy thing to do. I'm in awe of you. Thanks. Hm. Maybe there is still hope for me as a knight. Yes, I'll <coughs> gladly attest to that. I'm sure you'll be a splendid knight. Maybe you'll even outdo my father. Well, that's a frightening thought, comparing me to someone like Gilbert. But, it's a happy one, too. It makes me want to work that much harder. That was cute. I don't know. Annette and Ash, Annette or Felix, so complicated. So complicated. Felix and Seth, okay. May I help you, Seth? Finally noticed me, I see. Good to see that you are so dedicated to your training. Do you have need of my sword? Ah, oh, shit. No, this is not a military matter. I would like to discuss the distance you seem to be keeping from the others. Distance? I don't follow. I have noticed that you like to keep others at arm's length. And in most cases, quite a bit further. <laughs> keeping a close eye on me. They don't share my values, that's all. Is that why you train alone? Because your friends do not share your values? You seem displeased. I suppose you're going to tell me to defeat your enemies, you must have dependable allies. That's not exactly how I would phrase it, but having good relationships with your allies is essential in combat. I am sure you realize that it is easier to bond with people when you interact with them more. There are limits to what one person can do alone. Great things cannot be achieved without allies. You sound like my father. You're saying it's in my own interest to make friends? To put it simply, yes. As much as you possibly can. To be honest, I envy you. Because I know what it is like to not have many people to call friends. I wouldn't have guessed that. There are so many devout believers. Those aren't friends, though. I'm talking about friends. 
people to speak with on equal terms. You have many friends here. You should take care to attend to them. I'll consider your advice, but I'm not usually one to change my mind. Uh, to be young. <laughs> ah, cool. Well, I'm adding Caspar. Okay. <coughs> hey, Caspar. Can I ask you something? Oh, hey there, Annette. What's, What's on your mind? mind? Is there anything you pay particular attention to on the battlefield? Stuff you make sure not to mess up? I don't want to make any major mistakes again. So I've been thinking about how I can improve. But it's trickier than I thought. I was hoping you could give me some direction. Nothing I can think of. Sometimes you just gotta mess up. Hmm? Really? Nothing at all? Nah. No matter how much you prepare, you're always gonna make mistakes. All you can do is quit worrying and try your best. Hmm. I guess that does sound like something you'd say. But I'm not sure how much use it is to me. That's too bad. It's a great way to live. You worry about messing up, and all that worry makes you nervous, right? So being nervous on the battlefield is the reason you make mistakes you'd never make in training. Well, yes. People's lives are on the line. If I mess up, they might actually die. When I think that my failures might put everyone in danger, I... Ah, uh, you gotta quit doubting yourself. It's not helping. You're obsessing about failures that haven't even happened. What's the point in that? Sometimes you're gonna mess up no matter how hard you train. That's life! God, Gaspar really is very similar to me in that regard. That was so, that's some shit I would definitely say. So what you're saying is, I should stop being afraid of failure and just try my hardest on the battlefield, like I do in training. Was I not clear on that? You just gotta deal with your mistakes when you make them. <laughs> that really is just like you, Gaspar. I'm starting to feel stupid for worrying so much. You're so strong and confident. I really like that about you. <laughs> Thanks, Annette. I think you're great, too. Okay, I'm gonna try following your example from now on. It's time I stopped moping around here and put everything I've got into training. Right, Caspar? Gosh, so That's the spirit. Let's get out there and train. I'll race you to the stables. Yeah! <laughs> oh. Let's do the instruction too. Prepare the motivation. Good, good. Let's work on those S ranks. S plus ranks. <laughs> We're getting closer. Oh man. Uh, I guess worse. <laughs> Good job. Ah shit, they always do the same, do they? Let's get rid of this. Good job. Go on, go on, go on. Same here. <coughs> yeah. This one's quite far away, though. We we'll have to look for it, right? Oh yeah, Dimitri too. Dimitri's getting closer too, I guess. She's pretty good. I guess we're very. Uh, this place is so far away, though. Maybe horses, though. Horses is pretty, pretty close. <laughs> <laughs> so many good abilities, excellent. 
begin the training. This is you and me, people watching on YouTube. Nothing too much to say so far though. Catherine would like to speak with me. Let's go. <coughs> I was trying to catch you off guard, but you managed to block it. Not too shabby, Professor. That was dangerous. Oh, come on. Look at the blade I threw. It's just a wooden training sword. At worst, you could have gotten a bruise or perhaps a splinter. Let's agree it was funny and move on. I could have died. <laughs> How? By choking on it? Don't be so dramatic. Besides, I knew you'd dodge in time. I told you before that I was going to observe you. Since then, I've been watching you. I know what you're capable of. Uh, that's I took steps to make myself invisible so I could observe you without being detected. I hardly let you out of my sight. After extensive research, I've concluded that you really are first rate. Your sword skills are impeccable. You're a gifted educator. You clearly love working with the students. Someone with all of your exceptional qualities should not exist, but here you are. At first, I thought Gerald was the reason for Lady Rhea's interest in you. But no. Lady Rhea knew exactly what she was doing when she singled you out. Unfortunately, I can't hope to emulate you, let alone wield the sword of the creator. Yep. So my plan of imitating <coughs> for Lady Rhea's attention has come to nothing. So you're gonna stop watching me? I didn't say that. Oh boy. When we rescue Lady Rhea, I'll provide her a full report of your activities. Hopefully, then I'll be in her good graces. Oh, and don't think you can avoid being watched. I won't let you out of my sight. <laughs> That's a weird report. Catherine, you are weird. Yep. Good job, friends. A plus. Movement from one. Excellent. Excellent. Ugh. He's so close. Most of them are so close. Looks like I'm getting it. Whatever. Whatever. Right. We can do some battles now, though. That's good. Silver Maiden. Hey! Pancakes. First one to arrive. What are you doing today? Oh, it's from Dimitri. Every road in Fortress City lies on what was once the border between the Kingdom and the Empire. It's a value set strategic asset. Dimitri intends to reclaim it. Oh, is there an echo? Can't really hear it. How about now? I had some sound problems before. Good you, you arrived. <laughs> Can you hear now the game? <coughs> Sounds good, okay, good. Yeah, I don't know. It's been weird today, OBS. I don't know why he's doing that, but here we are. Uh, take care of your mom? How so? I mean, report to the Lies and Watchmen for the between Kingdom and the Empire. So, by a strategic asset, Dimitri intends to reclaim it. Let's see this parallel. Of course, I never did that one. The Silver Maiden. Recovering from a small surgery. Well, I hope she Thank you. recovers you good enough. Did something happen? Not really. <coughs> There's just a problem I must now clean up. Do you know of Arian Road? It is a fortress that also goes by the name of the Silver Maiden. The one that got blown up, right? Oh, well, it didn't get blown up in this one. Oh, I don't even remember at this point. I've heard of it. Yes, I had thought I might have mentioned it before. It is a fortress city that is lauded as the strongest in the kingdom. 
The land around Aryan Road was once entrusted to Count Ro. <laughs> I'm doing all right. Uh, you know, looking for interim chips, good ones, not, uh, you know, there's some ones that are a bit abusive, so I'm trying to get uh, for a good one. Um, I'm doing my master's degree. I'm not sick anymore. I just have a little bit of cough left, but that's it. So I'm pretty good. <laughs> when he turned to the Empire, the Silver Maiden went with him. Now, one after another, yeah. the lords of each region are leaving the Empire at the call of the Eastern Lords. <laughs> I am sure the Empire has no plans to relinquish the fortress city, given its strategic position on the front lines of their war with the Kingdom. Unless we can take back Aryan Road, the Kingdom will continually be attacked at its weakest points. I was thinking that we need to deal with it soon, and that we need to investigate the status of the enemy's force, but... Is there a problem? I'm afraid so. We confirm the troops departed the Imperial capital, headed for Aryan Road. If they are followed by a second and third batch of reinforcements, then the difficulty of taking back Aryan Road will increase exponentially. But that does not mean we are entirely without recourse. I am just at a loss as to when the soldiers will arrive. Let's go. Right away. <laughs> you never cease to amaze. Your answers always bring me joy. Okay, let's gather everyone immediately. We'll begin the war council for the departing troops. Let's go. I never did this one. And let's begin. Begin the battle. It seems we are just in time. Any later and Aryan Road may have been lost. Oh, shit. Your Majesty was right to send me here. Hubert. So, you have come here in command of extra troops from the Imperial capital. I had hoped to take the fort while it was poorly defended. Now, well, there is nothing to be done. Yes, I did. Traps have been set throughout Aryan Road to repel invaders who make it in. It was the last thing Aryan we Road did last time. Imperial hands for a while now. They may have changed how things work, but there's no point in dawdling. Let's just make a point to disable any device. There you go. I saw them already. <laughs> yes. Um. It was. It got a, li a little bit longer. Because uh, I forgot to have w to bring war warp. At How can we do this? Is it this this? This one is almost perfect. I'll do that one. Why thank you? Holy monks! Hey Nana, thank you. Welcome, baby boo. I have a. Very powerful stride right What's now. What's the plan? And these guys don't really need it, right? Ah, oh, look at that power. Probably don't need to do it though. Yes, we do. <coughs> How was your class, Nada? Is it good? Is that it? Is that it? <laughs> And Noodle is here too. Burn until we meet again. It's actually my last one. I already did all of them. HP, Dex, Lock, and Charm. All the others have been done. Yeah. Put me in there. Alright, cash bar, destroy them. I have extra movement to be honest. So I'll go here. Oh yeah. Yeah, Kafar's a savage, look at that. I do this for all of us. Save the best for last. <laughs> oh, he can't take the magic though a bit. What? Come on. Be careful. Oh. oh, we need to defeat that guy then. Onward. Yeah. Child's play. The game is almost over for me. All right. So I do want to grab the stride already, but what do you want to do? Maybe I'll do it with my character here. Yeah. Although a lot of people will attack me. 
So maybe I need someone tankier. Leave it to me. Thank you. No luck, buddy. All the city's defenses are under my control. So, the system has been modified. The person operating the traps must be elsewhere. God damn it. Really? <laughs> Come on, game. Ready when you are. Can't really hit him, huh? I'll That's so you. sad. I'd be honored. Well, maybe we can hit him. Maybe we can. I do this. Oh, that hit rate is very bad, though. That's a bit better. In the name of oh! <laughs> Isn't that helpful? Hell yeah. I think this time I'm definitely able to uh, rush here and destroy this guy. If possible. Oh shit, he lives. Justice! What if I go into these mages? Destroy them. Look at that extra fly. Look at that power. She's so good. Missed. You took me lightly. <laughs> She's so good. HP, strength, dex, speed, luck, defense, rest, and charm. Oh my goodness. Twenty nine strength. Absolute beast. I just remove this guy if possible. It's so close, so I kinda wanna do something about it though. But let's remove this guy out of here. Why are they so tanky? I go for the Thunderbrand? No. Let's go for the Iron Sword. What <laughs> Oh, that's enough. Hey, truly then, Valkyrium, welcome as well, friends. What do you mean, Lucky? It's all skill. I put the trust in her. Ingrid's a beast. I'm sorry. Well done. What are you doing? You're attacking him? Oh, you ain't. Nah, I'll go close, closer range. Are the other spells faster? These guys are super fast. Wow. <coughs> okay, they can not for to tank, but. I have less avoid on those tiles, so maybe I'll just go for an aura. Try to get the crit. Didn't get it. It's very sad. Manuela gets a level up. HP magic and charm. Good job. Manuela. Okay, everyone's done. We survived. What is this? Oh, reinforcements. Surprise reinforcements. We must defeat them. Oh, it's just one horse though. Surprise reinforcements. A horse. Ow, what the fuck? 41 damage. Ooh. Yeah. Dance or flame, go. Ow. Yeah, there's the crit. Almost died there. Almost. What the hell? So they have two vaultings? I was not expecting that. So Dimitri cannot go here. 